At the crack of dawn in many Kenyan homes countrywide, children are preparing for school. At 8 a.m., they will have already begun the day's lessons or started their examinations. Here in Mombasa County, one in every four girls as young as 14 years old is preparing breakfast for her husband who is almost thrice her age and her children. Early marriage in Kenya's coastal region is an epidemic that young girls have had to bear with for years. Some girls are married off by their parents to secure a source of income and prestige in the community. For other girls, it is a means to avoid the clutches of poverty lurking in their homesteads. Jane Bigger, a mother to three children and grandmother to one, knows this story all too well. For 13 years, she has been fighting this phenomenon in the hope that by empowering the girl child, early marriages will no longer be a viable option. She's not alone in this fight. She's part of the Wakesho community-based organization based in Nyali. Umradi ni kusaidia mtoto msichana. Uh, mwaka wa 2006, ndo hotel industry ilikuwa juu sana. Na wasichana wetu walikuwa wanakimbilia beach kukimbilia wazungu. So as a community, tukaona kuokuwa wale wasichana ni tufungue mradi ili tukaweze kuwashika wale wasichana tuwapatie skills na skill tulianza nayo ni ya ushonaji tukaona huyu msichana tukisha empower na hiyo skill atajitafutia riziki yake na mikono yake badala ya kwenda beach kutafuta wazungu Hil, na alafu pia tukaangalia mtoto msichana sana sana ule mtoto ambaye ni yatima mtoto ambaye ametoka kwa familia haijajiweza mtoto ambaye katika hali ya masomo ameshindwa kuendelea kwa masomo kwa sababu ya hali zingine za hiyo shida umaskini unapata ule mtoto msichana usipomwempower kumpatia skill ataona maisha ni kuolewa na sisi tukaanza kupinga ndoa za mapema ndio tukaanza kuanza huo mradi kufundisha ushonaji na kuwafundisha kutengeneza keki tukafundisha jinsi ya kutengeneza sabuni bar soaps alafu pia elimu ya biashara na computer class Wakesho is a Swahili word that loosely translates to for tomorrow the choice to use this word was very strategic it was based on the premise that in empowering the girl child the future generation is also empowered tukisha mwempawa yule msichana unampata ndio pengine ameingia kijijini pale kwao ako na mashini yake anashona anajua kupika keki amepika keki zake pengine jana usiku ziko na na, eh, na na beseni pale kando kando hii ako na, mash, na mafuta na sabuni ambazo ndio hizo basops ametengeneza ziko kando hii na huku tayari anashona unapata kwa siku moja yule msichana haezi kutokosa shilingi 500 from the vast northern Kenyan to the beautiful sandy beaches in the coast, Wakesho is home to girls across the country. Some are referred by the village chiefs, churches, community centers, friends, relatives, and many more. Currently, they have 40 girls that are day scholars. Hapo ndo tuleza kupata hawa sichana ambao tunawaitaji. Ambapo ilikuwa ni mtoto msichana ayatima, mtoto ambapo ametoka kwa familia ambapo haijiwezi, msichana ambapo pengine alichezewa na kijana kaza nyumbani akaona maisha basi imeisha, tunareview maisha yake, unaona. Ndiyo tuseza ndo tuleza na umbalifu. Once the girls arrive at Wakesho, they undergo a training for six weeks before sitting for an examination. The examination is provided and certified by the Kenya National Examination Council, NEC under TVET. Tulipo fandiwa na KCDP, tukawa kuna pesa imebakia, ukawa kuna pesa imebakia, ile pesa tukasema wacha tuangalia wasichana out of the hundred girls, na tukona pesa kununua mashini kuminambili, tuangalie, tuangalie kriteria ile tutatumia kuweza kuwafadhili wasichana na tukatafuta msichana ambaye ni yuko cooperative, tukatafuta msichana ambaye yuko hard working, eh, yuko smart kwa sababu msichana akiingia kwa center yetu tunampatia winform. 
alafu unapata msichana huyo huyo anaweza kosa kuvaa uniform yetu anavaa nguo yake ya nyumbani so tukachuja mpaka tukapata the 12 guys tukawafadhili kila mwanafunzi na mashini yake right now wanaendelea vizuri sana lakini vile tulifanya tuliangalia katika community ile wasichana wametoka kama ni watatu kupatia mmoja wanatumia wote kwa sasa hivi nikikwambia wanafunzi wote kila mmoja ako na mashini yake they are doing wonderful na mashini tulipeleka mpaka eh, sehemu ya huku voi maungu tuko na mashini zetu mbili maungu tumepeleka pale pia kisilaloni sehemu ya mariakani na mwanafunzi pia wanafunzi wetu wako pale ambao wanaendelea vizuri na biashara yao. Kwa hivyo tunashukuru Mungu kwa hiyo kazi ambayo tumefanya. Hapa wasichana wanalipa shilingi 20 kwa siku moja. 20 shillings per day. That is per month is 500. Yeah. Alafu admission ni 1000. Ambapo hiyo pesa wanayotoa huwa tena yanarudi inatumika hapa ndani. Hata itusaidi kulipa hiyo rent tuko nayo hapa hapa tunalipa 10000 every month ni ile biashara tunafanya ndio inatusaidia kulipa mahali hapa ile pesa bado wataitumia tutamnunulia ule ule msichana uzi tutamnulia materials unaona tutamle shindano akiingia lazima tupatie shindano za kushona kwa hivyo ile pesa anatoa lakini tena inarudi kwake atuseme eti inakuja kwetu hapana yeah. ni sisi sasa tunaenda mbio na biashara tulipe mahali hapa tusaidie mtoto msichana kumtoa katika hiyo hiyo umaskini as jane reflects on the 13 years she tells us the story of a young girl who changed her perspective on life and the cbo's trajectory tuko na msichana ambaye alikuwa akitoa akinyi kutoka Kisumu huyo msichana alikuwa ni totally uh, orphan alikuwa anaishi na familia ya, ya babake na huyo msichana alitu alitutouch sana kwa sababu huyo msichana alikuja akapata mimba mimba ile aliipata tukimuhoji anasema alikuwa hana sabuni alikuwa hana mafuta ya kujipaka unaona sasa tukaona ndio tukaanzisha sasa mradi wa sabuni zile sabuni tulipoanza kuzitengeneza walikuwa wanauza wao Alafu kuna percentage in, wanakuleta katika mradi. Alafu kuna percentage tunawapatia. Kwa sababu ile sabuni ataogea, ile atapata pesa yake ya kununua center parts zake, unaona. Sasa huyo msichana alitutouch sana. Ambapo sasa hivyo imetufanya sisi tumeenda juu chini paka tumenunua land. Kusudi tukishachukua tukivile tuko na wasichana wetu tuwe na boarding facility katika center yetu ambapo tunajua huyo msichana tukishamchukua hakuna njia atachezoa na kijana tutamtunza tutamfanyia tutampatia skills akitoka anatoka akiwa ameweza kujidumu kimaisha akitoka pale nje atakuwa sasa anaanza biashara yake kwa hivyo hakuna njia kijana atapata nafasi ya kuchezea wasichana wetu tutafuta udhamini ama wadhamini wafadhili waweze kutusaidia kujenga hiyo center katika hiyo center kutakuwa na workshops za workshop yetu ya virgin coconut oil tutaeka hapo tutakuwa na workshop ya kutengeneza kikoi tutakuwa na workshop ya kuprocess amaranth flower alafu na hiyo ya detergents ambapo inatengeneza masabuni zote unaona alafu pia tutakuwa na computer class tunataka msichana wetu au ajue mambo ya kompyuta vile tunaendeleza na kompyuta hapa hata katika center tutakuwa na, na computer class Although Akinyi went home after the training, the impact she left made a mark. She's already married. Yeah. She's doing well. Walipata tashukuru alipata mume ambaye kidogo anamtunza. Tumefuatilia story yake she's doing well. To sustain the girls training as Jane has hinted, Wakesha has several commercial projects aimed at increasing the income level. The projects range from soap making that Akinyi inspired to coconut oil processing. Madhumuni ya hii virgin coconut oil tuliona ni mafuta mazuri ni mafuta ambayo e, tu, e, mtu anapoyatengeneza kwa njia ile ya sawa yanatumika kama dawa yanatoa cholesterol kwa mwili so hiyo inatufanya tutengeneze hiyo mafuta ya virgin alafu pia tukiangalia katika cost yetu mti tuko nao wa maana kabisa ni mtu wa mnazi 
so tunatumia hii huu mnazi wetu kuupatia nguvu manake mafuta ya ya, mo, ya cost ama mafuta kutoka Kenya ni mazuri hata kuliko mafuta ya kutoka nje kwa sababu gani miti yetu ya minazi ili haikuwa na haikupandwa na mbolea hiyo ilipandwa natural na mafuta yake ni mazuri sana alafu biashara nyingine ambayo tuko nayo ni hiyo amaran amaran pia ni, 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 ni product ya cost hapa kwetu amaran iko na lot of calcium iko na lot of iron inarudisha nguvu kwa mwili hata kama mtu pengine alikuwa bedridden sasa hiyo amaran kulingana na na vile watoto wametumia wakaona benefits zake inazidi kututia nguvu kuendeleza kufanya hii biashara ya amaranth flower. Alafu tukiangalia biashara ingine ambayo tuko nayo ya kutengeneza sabuni. Hiyo pia ni mzuri kwa sababu vile tunatengeneza mafuta ya nazi kwa hivyo sisi kutengeneza sabuni kwetu ni rais. Alafu pia inatusaidia pia kufanya mwanafunzi wetu ambaye ni huyo msichana ajue kutengeneza sabuni na hata akitoka katika center yetu bado ataendeleza hiyo biashara yake ya kutengeneza sabu, sabuni yeah. This however has not come without challenges a few months ago Wakesho's main workshop was set ablaze by unknown people the tragedy cost them machines that they had set aside for processing coconut oil, amaranth and soap, as well as a source of income. After this unfortunate incident, many customers moved to other retailers due to their low production. Today, they're still trying to recover and put back the pieces. The challenge is that we have to do is that we have to do a job to get to the center, and we have to do a job. Alafu pia tulikuwa na mashini tulikuwa tumenunuliwa na county government ya Mombasa workshop yetu ikachomeka na tukapoteza eh, tukapoteza mali yetu almost 400,000 kwa hivyo production yetu ya virgin coconut oil ilienda chini baada ya kuwa workshop yetu ilipochomeka ili, ili na unajua katika hii project kwa vile tunafanya mradi wa community lazima tuwe na kipengele cha biashara ambapo kinafanya vizuri ndio tuweze kusaidia mtoto msichana na ndio tunaomba sana kama tunaweza tukapata ufadhili wa mashini ya hiyo ya kutengeneza mafuta kusudi production yetu ipande juu pia tuingie katika export market na mradi uweze kujisimamia wenyewe hata bila kuwafadhili mradi unaendelea manake sasa tutakuwa tuko na biashara tutakuwa sasa tunaweza tuexport our products na kwa kugara kibiashara tushafundishwa mambo na kids tumefundishwa tumefundishwa mambo ya packaging lakini sasa shida tuko nayo kubwa ni ya pesa tuko na wateja lakini biashara imeenda chini si kama vile tulikuwa tumeanza kidogo biashara imeenda chini na tukiongea na clients wetu wanasema uchumi ni mbaya alafu pia wakati tulipokuwa na ile mashini ilikuwa inatupatia products mbili unapata watu wengi wamependa sana ile product ambayo tuko tunatoa kutoka kwa machine unaona so pia hiyo imechangia pia biashara yetu kwenda chini kwa sababu tumekosa mteja wetu ambaye tulikuwa tunampatia mafuta ile tulikuwa tumetengeneza na ile machine ambapo ni cold press coconut oil